Taking a full look at weather now, Chief Meteorologist Dan Sianca, you've been keeping an eye over on the waves at the beaches and all the conditions for us right now, thankfully quiet. Yeah, a couple rounds of high surf coming our way over the next couple of days. So don't let your guard down even after this first one uh, subsides late tomorrow night. But we'll get into those waves in just a moment. Here's a live look from Domenico's on the wharf. It's raining on the Monterey Peninsula tonight. It's been raining in Santa Cruz all night. We're starting to see a little rain in Salinas and Hollister this evening. So getting going out there as a weak frontal boundary that is just somewhat stalled across the area uh, is just kind of sits here. And uh, there's quite a bit of moisture associated with it. It's stacked pretty deeply in the atmosphere. So we're squeezing everything we can out of it, which is good. Obviously, we want some rainfall. We're still running a little bit behind so far in our yearly totals. So we'll take it. But obviously, it can be an inconvenience to some as well. So we'll talk about how long it's going to last in just a moment. What the other story, obviously, we are talking about the wind today. The gale warnings have expired. We're still seeing some gustier winds out there. It was breezy earlier in the day. Not too much out there tonight. That southerly flow is going to continue here over the next couple of days, keeping temperatures mild. And this frontal boundary, which is draped across the region right now, will kind of linger here for the next couple of days. So eventually tonight, things will kind of wind down. But I do expect really showers possibly all night long and throughout the day tomorrow, just sitting over our area. It's most likely going to be along the coast. More inland areas are likely to see less, if any, precipitation. But uh, tomorrow, still a little bit on the rainier side. So we're talking about waves as well. We have a storm system, an area of low pressure sitting off of British Columbia up here. Well, guess what? The cold frontal system coming through really, to some extent, is associated with that storm system. So we're kind of on the tail end of it. There's another short wave coming through the Puget Sound area. Um, so this storm made a bunch of waves and they're well on their way toward us, even though the cold front has already arrived. And then you see this storm out here. This one also making some big waves. They will be here this weekend. So a couple of different rounds of, of waves, not necessarily timed out exactly with the storm systems as they arrive, because again, we're getting rain tonight and then the waves from this system tomorrow. These will be a little bit more in sync, I think, on Saturday, but obviously that's a lot to look out for. So let's talk about the waves here over the next couple of days. And as we look at our future waves, we already have a big wave train on the way, some of these higher waves right here, and they are moving toward us. And unfortunately, we'll be timed with our high tide cycle tomorrow. We're in our astronomically higher tides this time of year. We just had a full moon yesterday. Um, the Earth is also very close, well, the closest in its um, orbit around the sun to the sun. I think that's on January 2nd, so we're only a few days away from that. So the sun's tug on our oceans, the gravitational tug on our oceans is just a little bit higher. And because the moon is at opposition of that, so on the other side of the planet, it's full. We can see it because the sun is the opposite of it. It's also playing tug of war with our oceans, basically. That's what our tidal cycle is. It's just a little more extreme right now. So our high tide tomorrow around 10, 16 a.m. and the highest surf coming in tomorrow probably mid to late morning. So this is 22 feet at 9 a.m. And then as we head into the afternoon, you see it kind of ease a little bit. So unfortunately, it's bad timing, it looks like tomorrow. We're gonna have some bigger waves right on top of high tide. That's gonna increase all sorts of problems on the coast. There's coastal flood advisory for our near coastal zones uh, until 3 a.m. on Friday. It's already in place, it was in place today. We didn't have too much problem today, but uh, the high surf on top of that already high tide tomorrow around 10, 16 a.m. may cause some issues, so we're talking about Flooding potentially of some low-lying areas near the coast, uh, waves and lots of beach erosion out there. I don't think you'll see, these aren't going to be extreme high tides, but still we might see extra water in the sloughs, uh, certainly going to be higher, allowing those waves that are coming in to breach even higher on the beaches, on the dunes, on the rocks, places like that. So that leads to that high surf advisory warning, I should say, high surf warning, which goes into effect at 3 a.m. and lasts until 3 a.m. Friday. Wind, or I should say breaking waves 28 to 33 feet and up to 40 feet at the highest on area beaches potentially. So some extremely high breakers out there. Uh, they're going to come all the way up the beach to the dunes. That's just the, the issue with it tomorrow. So stay away from the water. If you, I guess if you're the most experienced surfer in the world and you know what you're doing and this, these numbers don't frighten you because you've done it a million times, well, that's up to you. But I would stay out of the water. You don't want to be a rescue story or worse, right? So, and stay away from the water. You don't want to be on the, on the rocks near the water. You don't want to be on the seawall when all these big waves come in tomorrow. So it's going to be dangerous tomorrow. So please be careful. They will subside a little bit Friday, but then that 
that next round is going to come in on Saturday. 12 feet right off Point Sur at the moment. They're going to head up to double that by the time we get to tomorrow morning. Okay, back to the rain now. Okay, I said a lot of stuff going on. Now, the model not really handling much in the way of precipitation overnight, but we will continue to see light showers around the Monterey Bay region as we head through the overnight. There, it's showing a few by 5 or 6 a.m. So, again, a few light showers. This front's just going to stick here throughout the day tomorrow, and it's going to keep a few showers in the forecast throughout the day tomorrow. The closer to the coast and the farther north you live, the better your chances. Southeastern Monterey County, probably dry. Santa Cruz, you'll have on and off showers overnight tonight throughout the day tomorrow. It's just the way it looks. Um, and then we're going to run this forward all the way into Friday because the front just kind of sit here. It will probably dissipate a little bit, but when that next system comes in, it'll start to activate the previous front again. We'll probably see some rain pick up a little bit early in the day Friday. Winds pick up by lunchtime Friday, and there is that next stronger cold front coming in late in the day Friday. So what to expect with this one? Gustier winds, heavier rain. The good news is it's coming through pretty quickly though. So this is 4 p.m. Friday, and then we take you to 7 p.m., and then we take you to midnight, and it's almost all the way out of here. So it's gonna move through pretty quickly, even though it has heavier rain and stronger winds. But street flooding certainly gonna be a possibility with this as it moves through. On top of that, on the back side of it, there's potential for some showers and thunderstorms, which will last all the way through the day Saturday. A lot going on. Please stay tuned to the forecast so we can let you know how to prepare for things. As I mentioned, it's a very complex scenario here over the next couple of days. Futurecast precipitation overnight into tomorrow. We'll see an additional maybe quarter of an inch or so in some areas. And then the bigger rains come Friday night into Saturday. So uh, lots to look out to here over the next couple of days. Quick look at your temperature forecast. Got to blow through these. I think I'm already over my time. So here you go. 50s to low 60s across Santa Cruz County tomorrow. Not too bad. I mean, highs will be above normal for most locations because of the front still just kind of hanging out here and no real cold air mass behind it. In fact, it's going to be kind of warm in some areas, especially if you get a little sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Upper 60s, Salinas, Hollister tomorrow. Uh, 60s on the peninsula and 60s down south as well. So pretty mild for late December, certainly here on the central coast. All right, so let's recap. Hit that seven-day forecast tomorrow. Rounds of showers, mostly cloudy on the coast. Highs in the mid-60s. Winds pick up Friday. Rain late in the day especially. Saturday staying mostly cloudy with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Much cooler Saturday. Few showers may linger on Sunday. That's New Year's Eve, but it looks like as we usher in the new year, we get a couple of dry days before the next system comes through midweek next week. And just a reminder, big swells coming in again on Saturday. So Thursday and Saturday for those waves. Inland areas also so a few lingering showers tomorrow, mainly in the north, and then rain coming back Friday into Saturday. Probably get a break eventually Monday to Tuesday, but I want you to stay tuned to my forecast. Make sure to download the KION Weather Authority app so we make sure you get those alerts sent right to your phone. Veronica. We will. Thank you, Dan. Tracking it all for us.